Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I want to show you how to use V-Carve to create a sign like this open hour sign within like 15 minutes on V-Carve, and then over the next 20, this about, took about 30 minutes to carve out on the CNC router, where you can start to earn income doing CNC work. So if you're considering a CNC machine, I want to show you how easy this really is. So let's dive right in to VCarb, the program that I designed this on, and Bob's CNC machine that I created that on, where I've earned some money making this simple sign in about two hours total. And this is from a scrap piece of wood that I had. So let's dive right in. All right, here we are in VCarb, and we are going to design this thing out in less than 10 minutes. So the first thing you need to do, of course, in V-Carve is to set your material parameters. So my piece of scrap wood was 12 wide by 16 tall and is three quarter inch thick. And it's coming off the center for our design purposes. We are going to click OK. So the first thing we want to do is build the profile of the sign. And what we're going to do is create a rectangle. We're just going to come on the center line and we're not going to go all the way up. We want to go about two thirds up from center and we're going to just draw a rectangle and there we have it <clears throat> now we're going to draw a circle because we're going to give it that character at the top of the uh, sign so just go like that and now let's draw an arc and that arc is just going to grab this right there and somewhere on the circle let's just grab the circle right there and just bring the arc in like that. So let's check our arc and see what it's looking like. It's made contact with that circle. That's good. Now I need to chop out all this stuff here so I can mirror this profile. You can see we got the basic profile here of the sign that goes over, arcs up, arc, starts to arc over, but we got to get rid of all this stuff in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line right here because I've got to cut this big circle and I need to cut it at the middle. So we have the, the line there now and I'm going to get my scissors out and I'm going to just start to trim. And let's see if we can trim that and trim that and trim that. So you see when I trimmed that last one it took that other stuff out. Control Z to undo and what we're going to do is just go into vector mode um, I'm sorry node mode hit the N on the keyboard and you see all these little dots come up that's our nodes so I'm gonna hover over that and right click it and just hit cut vector I can hit C as well what that did is that separated this line from the rest of this so it won't delete everything it'll just delete that line hit delete there we go and looking good now we want to mirror this across the horizontal so we're going there and we make sure both are checked uh, flip about job center and create a mirrored copy flip horizontal and there we have it now the other thing we need to do is join these vectors so I'm going to select both I have to escape out of this function I'm going to select both right click come down and join the vectors and with a line now that's all one vector Let's pretty this sign up a little bit, give it a little bit more character. We are going to put a radius or a fillet on the edge, and we're going to make it a half inch fillet. So we just put in 0.5, we click that, click that, click that, and click that. And there we have it. Now we're going to offset this. We're going to put a line on the inside. Uh, just on the inside, it's like an accent line that goes all the way around, and we're going to just kind of put a little groove there. Uh, so when we stain it, it'll stand out and just add character to this whole thing. So we're going to select that and offset, and we're going to offset this by uh, 0.375. And we're going to offset it to the inside, and we click offset, and there it is. And it's got radiuses in it, it all looks really good. Now we can make this guy a little bit bigger. we got a lot of material here, so I'm going to highlight them both click them and hold my shift key down and expand it just a little bit and there we go oh, too much control Z um, so we'll, we'll expand it just a little less than what we just did 
shift key down, grab the inner guy, and just go like that. All right, and then we're going to hit the down arrow button a little bit just to move things down. There's our basic sign. Let's add some text. Um, oh, we want to put a coffee cup in here. We want to get that little symbol in there just to give it that coffee flavor. So, so I have already done this, so I'm going to just start over on this. We go to Google. Do a search for coffee cup image. Hit enter and go to images and Google has corrected my spelling but it looks like it still picked it up let's just pick up this guy right there we click that we right click it and save image as coffee enter okay let's import the bitmap and get our vectors drawn for that so we come up here to the top file operations and click our import bitmap and we're going to go to our downloads folder we're there there's a coffee folder or a coffee image and there she is let's make it just a little bit bigger and get it back on center and let's move it up let's just bring it right up in there okay there it is so now we're just going to uh, go to create vectors so we want to go to our trace bitmap function it looks like a little folded paper airplane click that and you can see it grayed out the image and it's got still got it highlighted we are going to go with that you know the uh, vcarve selected what it thinks is the best for that so we're going to just preview it and apply it and close now we're going to close our bitmap layer so when a bitmap was imported it created a layer we don't need it anymore so we just turned it off and look at that I'm gonna get rid of these beans I don't want them they don't need to be there this is just an accent for a sign and it looks like we've got a couple little features that it, it threw in there so I'm just gonna dump them out there's one right there um, there's one a couple here and it looks like they got one right there and right up at the top there okay that's done there's our coffee mug we don't need that bottom part of the saucer either there nice little coffee mug very easy I guess we're about five minutes into this job all right let's get some text on here so we hit our text button and it's gonna pop that up uh, let's see what kind of font we're using so we're gonna say crafted coffee hours and that looks good okay so we got that so we're gonna make another we're just going to click over here and it's going to start another font we're going to say monday through saturday enter 7 p to 8 p we'll make that 7 a to 8 p and we go to the end and we sunday is going to be closed all right so and let's fix our other text here I have to look at my keyboard when I'm doing this Monday through Saturday there we go all right this is obviously too big for the sign but let's let's work on these guys first we're going to close that we're going to center up this this uh, text we're going to center up this text and then we're going to click it again and we're going to nudge it up and then we're going to take that one and we're going to nudge it up as well and you can see we got a little bit of a crammed problem here so we're just going to make this text a little bit smaller so we just click it again and we hit our shift button that holds it on center and just make it a little smaller and then we just come up like that now let's add a little accent to this a little more accent we're going to draw a line right between the two it gives it a little separation there you go it's escape we are ready with our sign so we go to our 3d carving and what we're gonna do is we're gonna v carve the cup features and the font so we're just gonna highlight all that and we're gonna highlight the font and we're gonna v carve so we hit v carve and we're gonna use our 90 degree v carve tool and that's all set in there so we're just going to calculate let's, let's run it and take a look and look at that just uh, nice the coffee cup is just there you know when we stain this that's just going to highlight it really nice 
So we close that and we go on to uh, the next feature. So we're going to split our screens here so we can see what we're going to do. So the next thing we're going to do is just put a V groove around that border that we created, the internal accent border and the little line right there. So we're going to do a, a profile, tooling, a toolpath, profile toolpath. We click that and we are going to use 90 degree, the same tool. And we're going to go a 0.1 deep. Now it says two passes. That'll be good. You know, leave a nice clean finish cut. We can edit those passes, but for this we're not going to. This is going to be on the line. If it's on the outside of the line, it's going to do some uh, things we don't want it to do. We just want to put this groove on the line. So we're going to hit Create. And there it is. We're going to generate that. And look at that. We've got this nice little V groove going on around there. So now we've got an accented sign. Very nice and very simple. All right, let's move on. Now we're going to take care of our outer border. First thing we're going to do is put a round on it. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a profile tool path. And this time we're going to click, uh, select our ball nose, half inch ball nose. And we're going to cut along the line. So what that's going to do is going to give us a, a quarter inch radius on the inside of it when we cut our sign. And it's going to do all this in one pass, which is quite a bit quarter inch so let's just knock that down to uh, 0.15 and click OK that's going to do it now in uh, uh, well we want to go a quarter inch deep so there we go there's your depth of cut and we are good to go and we are going to do this on the line so we're good and we click calculate and take a look beautiful alright last step yeah, we've got a little bit of a tight boundary right here. I mean, this, let's take a look, see what that looks like when we finish this sign. We're going to do a profile toolpath again because we're going to cut the sign out now. So we need to get our quarter inch end mill. And since we are going to go like the edge of the end mill is going to be at the bottom of the groove, we're not going to start at the very top. It's going to spend several cuts going around, barely cutting anything. So I'm going to start the end mill at the bottom of that bowl cut. So we're going to start at 0.25 and then we're going to go the rest of the distance which is another 0.5 and it's going to make it in five passes. So now let's generate, well we need this on the outside and let's calculate and see what it looks like. And there is our sign. So we've got this coffee sign and how does that look? So that looks a little tight right there with that vector. So let's just fix this really quick. Super easy. We come back over to our drawing. And we are we didn't, probably don't even need to do that. And we're going to double click that. And we're going to shift and hold that uh, hold shift down. And then drag this, this little guy in just a little bit. So we're just going to come in a little bit more than what it was. And that looks better I think so let's see what happens we are going to come back over and we're going to recalculate our tool path we're going to take a look at them refresh the screen and run all tool paths okay so that's a little bit better it's a little bit further out and there is our sign so it's that quick that quick and easy you know a $30 project $40 project um, however you want to charge something like that, but it's really easy to make a sign. And that's how easy it is to create a sign like this on your uh, design software. All right, um, yeah, comment, sub uh, like, subscribe, whatever. I'll be glad to answer any questions. Uh, put them down in the comments.